So he took that thin fabric, gentle fabric, asher perach ba, where there is a flower inside of it. And I gave it to Rabbi Akiva, and Rabbi Akiva gave it to our slave to tell him, go bring that napkin to a woman that went to the mikveh, and the dipping in the mikveh, she did, did not, not did the mitzvah properly, so it was not a kosher um, mikveh. That if she will come, that woman will come, and gonna explain the situation that she was at in front of the rabbis, the judges, it's known that one will forbidden, one will say that it's not kosher, <coughs> but all the rest will say that it there was is an kosher. aspect of impurity in that woman. Okay, so he's sending their slave to find a woman that has only an aspect of impurity, but she's not impure. We're not talking about an impure woman. We're talking about a pure woman that some person, some rabbi will say that she's and not tell pure. that woman, touch that fabric in the tip of your finger of your hand and don't step on the finger, on the, on the fabric strongly. Just tap it like you're rolling a, 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 almost a pure and she barely touched that fabric. They went and they did it, and they brought that napkin in front of Rabbi Ishmael. So think about the miracle that they had, that exactly when they came, a woman with that weird case, complex situation, just came out of the mikveh. Okay? And they brought that fabric, that napkin, to Rabbi Ishmael. Rabbi Ishmael took it and put a branch of hadas. Hadas is one of the incense. A smell that was um, used in the temple means brings holiness. It took a, um, a plate, a round plate, like a bowl, that they put inside of it a falsemon. A falsemon is a kind of perfume that was holy, that was used in the temple. We don't have this afarsimon today. We don't know what it is. I, I don't know what it is. But it was a pure, um, used for the altar, maybe even for sacrifices, kind of like whatever. It was very holy thing. And put it, put that fabric after dipping it into those perfumes and putting the branch of the hadas on top of it. Put it on the legs of Rabbi Nechunia ben Hakana. Immediately when he done that, they rejected him from in front of the throne of honor that he was sitting and seeing with great pride and different leadership in, in pride of greatness and leadership of glow that are excited in front of the throne of honor three times each day and day in front of the chair in the chariot since the time the world created until now. So that is the same text that they explained before on how a person is watching the Merkava, watching the throne of honor from the Merkava. So he was kicked out because of that horrible impurity that touched him, that gentle fa fabric. So you see in, from that in which high level they were to, to see the Merkava in the first place, that something so not exist even, is already rejecting them from that place. Like immediately, they kicked him out of there. And we asked from him. So immediately they asked Rabbi Nechunia ben Hakana, who is the one who are coming down from the chariot? And who are the ones that are not from the chariot? So he told us, those are people, human beings, that were taking them Yodem Merkava, that Yodem Merkava people come down in the chariot, are taking them and establishing them above them and putting them in front of them and tell them, watch and see and listen and write everything that I say. And everything that we hear in front of the throne of honor means it's you guys. You understand? Like now they ask them, who are the ones that are being rejected? So he answered to them, it's those ones that 
when I'm going, I'm telling you guys to sit down and to write and to listen to my explanations like it's you. You are rejected. You're not able to go in. And those people are not worthy for that. Therefore, the gatekeepers of the sixth hall are hurting them. So now they are very scared. <laughs> like they understand yeah, Hashem problem. said that he got that name, that he will have the power to punish the ones that Hashem will not, that Hashem will like see that they're not appropriate, but Hashem will not say anything. So that angel, he will be the one to appoint it on punishing those. But they're not doing it because they're jealous or that they hate someone, God forbid, just because they are looking for the honor of it. Você está assistindo Emoná Português. Seu apoio nos ajuda imensamente. Por favor, inscreva-se, curta e deixe-nos um comentário com qualquer dúvida que você tenha. O melhor de tudo é simplesmente compartilhar este vídeo ajudando essas mensagens de fé a chegarem a todas as pessoas, não importa a sua origem. Fique bem e Shalom!